Hey folks, Phil Demon here. I'm gonna show you how I make my summertime splits. I have, of course, hives with, I run singles. So a brood box and then an excluder and the honey stacked on top. These ones are already done. And I'll, I'll show you in a minute, but basically the idea is to move some brood up into the top, let the bees come down through the bee escapes and repopulate that box. I'll come and then later this afternoon, I'll show you the next steps. So come on over here and have a look. You got the smoker? So this hive has one, two, three, four good boxes of honey. It's plenty strong. Pull three frames of brood. I'm going to shake them off so that there's no chance of taking the queen. Replace those frames. Scooter back on. Then we put on two empties. Then we put on the split, then the bee escape, and then the honey. Father, how old are you? You're 14. How many pounds of honey do you think you're lifting there? Yeah, but 150 maybe? Good job. Okay, let's do that again. Let's do that one. I have a little thing. Grab me the smoker. Smoke right here. A little more. Okay, perfect. One of the advantages of this is most doing this today, nearly all the bees are either foraging or up in the supers. Storing and drying honey. So the brood chambers aren't particularly packed with bees. That's an even bigger stack than the last one. Oh. Work. Big shot. 
All right, so the bees in those boxes come down through that bee escape. They'll just keep foraging these hives. Bee, one thing I like with bee escapes is the hives hardly know you disturb them. And they'll go right back to foraging and these house bees want to go up and down anyway, moving the nectar from the front door where they get it from the foragers up into the comb. So they'll just gradually over a couple of days end up being concentrated in these boxes. That'll be a nice uh, box of, of bees and, and brood. And I'll grab that after, I'll come back and get the honey. Then I'll come back and get that brood box and make a split and then I'll add a queen. Okay, so that's step one. We'll do step two this afternoon. Thanks a lot. There you go. Okay, so here we are at a site where we're taking the honey off and then that'll expose the splits we've set up ahead of time. So you can see how I've got an extra box above this bee or below this bee escape. I got two honey supers here. That was a smaller hive, a larger hive here. So we have two honey supers and the new split. I'll pull the honey off and then we'll have a look at that. We'll do a couple here. I got auto lifting hundreds of pounds of honey here. My trusty nephew. That's three good supers of honey. Let's have a look in here while he's doing that. So I have my, looks like my three frames of brood here. And then the rest of the hive is full of bees. So that when I come tonight, I'll take, I won't even take the lid off. I'll lift off that box, put it on a pallet, and then uh, right on the truck, set them off another site. Tomorrow morning, we'll add the queen. You got this ready for me? Lift that up from the bottom and have a look at what that looks like. So there's lots of bees there to make a viable hive. There'll actually be more when we come about dust. Right now, half of the hive is in the field foraging, so it'll actually bulk up a bit on the bee power as easily sets off. And then when I've got all the honey out of here, the splits stick up one extra box. So there's no even marking around. All the ones that are one box high, those are the ones that we take as a split. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay, so we've got the honey off, and now you can see the highs that are to be split tonight are the ones sticking up. So that's pretty easy. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 21 splits out of here with only you know a little bit more work than just pulling the honey anyway so um, now I am sacrificing some crop but uh, I'm getting extra hives out of it I was able to secure a source for the queens so you know, this will be part of uh, rebuilding I should I really get a hive made for every queen I've got ordered, I'll be back up to my my usual amount of hives by the end of the season. So that's that's the plan. All right folks, thanks a lot. Have a great day. So 
so here we are is it going yep yeah okay so here we are at the bee back at the bee yard it's uh, just about sunset the sun's nicely behind the shelter built and we are taking these splits and we've enhanced our system here a bit since last year we're using the uh, easy loader to put the splits right on the truck so remember this top box has got three frames of brood got my friend nigel here helping me out yeah These boxes don't have any guard bees in them because they're up on the top of the hive. So they're pretty docile. Otto will uh, put the lids on as soon as he's done with the camera. You're getting a call from Mac Hofer. Oh, you can ignore that. Maybe look underneath auto and see what's up from there and then up here. A super ton of bees there. And look in the entrances. That's a nice little bee. Okay, we'll do two more and then people have the idea. So one thing I like about the easy loaders, I think it gives me beekeeping options. I think I quite hit that. Okay, when I unload these, that'll be the next step, I'm going to use the uh, long forks on the easy loader. We'll see. I've only used those a couple times. We'll see if this application makes sense or not. Okay, that's it for now. Start it. Okay, you're running. And just with your extra hand, just let your light. Okay, now it's time to unload these. Oh, I gotta roll ahead. I've already done three pallets, it worked okay.
this is a site where I think the bees will have a good flow. I would have had hives here already, except that the access is pretty soft. Actually, I haven't had a rain for about a week, so... to set these uh, motor. and my truck that normally tows the forklift is waiting on oops, supply management or supply chain issues for it's waiting for a uh, get this uh, top of the smoker the top of the smoker fell off oh, I got it now okay.